Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at if you see this thing on your car, run fast and ask for help. This is a very interesting and special video. A new phenomenon is swiping the USA and many other countries in Europe and Asia. That is a new widely available gadget that many people are finding on their cars. So here's what to do if you see one on a car, what it means and why you should be very afraid. Before we begin, why not subscribe and push the notification bell too. A new type of GPS tracker has made its way into the world. Of course, GPS trackers have existed for ages and are used to map someone or something's location. But get ready for something new and scary. They're called Magna GPSs because they're magnetic, but not like the magnetic GPSs you may have already seen. These are super powerful and easy to hide without any flashing lights or LCD screens. They were first available in Russia, but have now made their way across the world in Asia, Europe, and America. They're most commonly found in New York and Los Angeles in America, and most commonly in London, France, and Italy. Italy and Europe. So, what's so scary about these trackers? Well, police have seen a rise in criminals using these metallic trackers to commit various crimes. People can buy these trackers on the dark web, but now some have even been seen cropping up on websites like eBay and Craigslist. And there are many reasons why people would use these. One thing criminals do with these trackers is throw them out of car windows. Or with some trackers, you can shoot them out of a cannon. They then stick onto passing cars, seeing as they're so magnetic, hence the dubbed name Magna GPS. This then allows the GPS owner to track whoever they've stuck it to at all times. They can either follow their car with a GPS map to find out where they live or go to work. Or in one instance, a lawyer had one of these thrown onto her car. Then the criminals tracked her until she was in a deserted area and parked up, and then stole confidential files from her car. And in 2015, an Atlanta man named Sang Hoon Yim was arrested for tracking a woman while stalking her. Another scary time a criminal has used one of these wireless trackers was when a man from the UK named Mario Guzman was angry his wife divorced him. He then secretly stuck one of these magnetic GPS systems onto the inner wheel compartment of her car. Luckily, when she took it to a garage for an unrelated reason, a mechanic found the tracker. The husband's home was later raided, and it was found he'd been planning to attack his ex-wife using the data the GPS had collected. Don't get me wrong, these trackers can be useful and sometimes life-saving. The police even use products similar to these to track criminals' cars. But of course, these are made and sold legally in America, not illegally imported. But talking of importing things, these new GPS trackers can even trace cars when they go to other countries. This is why they can be useful for governments, especially in countries like France, which have easy access to foreign places like North Africa. However, it can be problematic if one of these falls into the wrong hands. You see, with these, criminals can now track people all across the world. Some Mexican cartels are now reportedly using these trackers to track their packages and hunting down GPSs that don't come back. This can put guerrilla groups and even border control officers at risk of being tracked down. Stalkers have also been known to use Magna GPSs to track down their ex-partners or just random people. In some cases, controlling or suspicious people have used these to track down their partners to check if they're having an affair. For example, in 2016, businessman Steve Brown was arrested for tracking his wife Nicola using a magnetic GPS. He thought she was having an affair with a man named Mark Crompton, but instead Stephen ended up in trouble, not Mark, as he was arrested for spying, which is illegal in the UK. So if you see one of these magnetic tracking systems on your car, watch out. If you see it in an obvious place, this likely means someone has thrown it out of the car window at you. They then might be waiting for you to pull over and rob you, or find out where you live. But if it's tucked underneath your car, then this is likely someone specifically targeting you, and they may want to know where you're going. Going. If you find one of these, the best thing to do is immediately remove it and leave it in a place nowhere near to where you live or work. But first, be sure to take a photo of it to show the police as evidence. Then get far away from the GPS and call the police for help to report somebody spying on you. With any luck, this will help the police catch anyone who has one of these devices and is using it illegally. You might be thinking, something like this would never happen to me. But I bet that's what the lawyer who was stolen from, or Nicola Brown who was spied on, thought too. So be sure to check your car, stay vigilant, and stay safe. Check out the poll in the top right corner and you can vote if anyone's ever tried to spy on you. And guys, definitely check out my second channel, The Crafty. There'll be a video for The Crafty on screen in a second, so check that out and why not subscribe too. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.